will be reacting to a video from the Hudbox production featuring Kiam Rivers. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, they're gonna hit it, bro. Uh, yeah, she, uh, Cheyenne was talking about what? Now she's kicked up. Like, she brought me crazy for me, bro, cause, like, last week, I was the victim of an accidental hate crime. <laughs> and, like, I didn't even notice shit. like, I was just chilling on the line, closing down like usual, and my white manager, who I love, sweet white lady, I fucking love her, she walks up to me and shit, like, hey, Cam, you want some? I look down, and it's a slice of watermelon. <laughs> now that might be something small to some motherfuckers, but when real motherfuckers know the stereotype of watermelon, I can feel Martin the King staring down at me like, I'm about not take that. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, this is the biggest decision of my life, bro. This ain't no small shit. So I'm like, God damn, what do I do, God? Stand on my strong black man principles or cool out and eat the watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> eat the watermelon. So I look back, make sure there ain't no other black people on the line. <laughs> <laughs> and right when I'm about to reach for it, I feel like a black angel just pop up on my shoulder. Like, hold on, hold on brother. <laughs> I know you ain't finna take that. I mean, I, I know the stereotype about watermelon. I'm just hungry, bro. Look, I don't care what you say. I don't trust no fruit. Not strawberries, cranberries, the white half of holly bear, none of it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, right? Got a point? Then the coon devil hops up on my left shoulder like, hold on now. You know she's hungry. <laughs> shit, he's right, I ain't kinda hungry. Shit, so I'm like, God damn it, this biggest shit decision of my life. I reach for it, I get it, begrudgingly. I don't think I know that word. I know words, nigga. Begrudgingly, <laughs> I take it. I'm like, okay, it's cool, you know that's not the ratio? It's cool, it's not the ratio. I look back, and I see her like, handing watermelon out to the niggas, like, exclusively, like. <laughs> I'm just step on with the white people on the way, woo. <laughs> Like, God damn, nigga, she, like, she going off her way with the shit. Like, she got them all up in the big dish pit. Where's watermelon? Where's watermelon? She out there chasing niggas out to the parking lot. Edward, you got some watermelon. Oh, Take a good dance. Shit. Shit, crazy, bro. Fuck it, we need to get to the shit. Uh, you see I'm skinny as hell. I'm a lover, not a fighter, bro. Like, but don't be some, hey, don't count me out. I'm 3-0. Three, no. three ass whoopings, zero wins. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> First 45 seconds, I'm good. Like I'm like prom, Mike Tyson, but anything after that, I always get fucked up. Uh, I remember in high school, there was this big old fight at the, uh, we had this big old park called the LJ, Big Greenfield. It was my school versus the niggas from the school across the street. And I'm there, first of all, I'm not even supposed to be there. I got history homework to do, but I gotta be there because I'm a real nigga. I got show for my friends. I'm there, shit, I'm just, and all I'm thinking is, okay, I'm about to find the easiest target Fight them for 30 seconds and get out. I don't give a damn. So everybody start fighting shit. And I'm just looking around. And I see this dude, he turned around and shit. He's not looking at me. So I'm like, oh yeah, easy lick. I hit him. Boom. And as soon as I hit him, I knew I fucked up. Because he turned around and was ugly as shit, bruh. You look like the uh, how to train your dragon dragon, bruh. You know, I'm standing and shit. I'm like, god damn. So I, I fucked up. But look, we good. I'm still fighting him. Boom, boom, boom. Fighting him. Doing good. And then, after 45 seconds, he scooped me up, boom, start hitting me with a 55 hit combo. I'm on the grass thinking, Lord, I'm gonna die in this dark skin in your hands, why? He fucking me up. And right when he about to deliver the death blow, let me my homie, come to knock him out, I'm good. I live, to live another day. So later we go up to uh, cookout for, you know, post-fight victory and shit. Uh, we got celebrates like war and shit. But when I get there, I'm, I'm, I'm mad because, like, I guess everybody else won their matchup. Because, like, ain't nobody else fucked up. Like, I'm the only nigga, like, ain't nobody got no cuts, no bruises. You hear my ass come in with a, a gold neck, a black eye, and a wooden leg. Talking about, we fucked them niggas up. Uh, now I can get you the shit I want to. Y'all know them, uh, the little dick pills at the gas station? Yeah. yeah. Don't take one, Saucy. Do <laughs> not take them. Y'all not like I don't know no, no, no one. The shit right beside the lottery tickets, y'all don't come out. Y'all take two one time, Saucy. <laughs> Fuck up. Worst part of my life. I had this bad, most beautiful girl I ever had in my life. Beautiful. But I can't fuck her because there's too much pressure. Like, I'm not a win in life, you know what I'm saying? I don't win like that, so I'm like, fuck it. After five weeks of failing, I'm going to give me a gorilla dick pill, because that's guaranteed. 
<laughs> Ain't no way I'm fucking this up. Don't give me a little dick pill. Pop one. Feeling good. Pop another one. The bad guy coming through. Pop nothing. I got two. I'm real short. So I get to a house. And trust me, this is life and death. Like, I'm treating this shit like it's game seven of the NBA finals, nigga, okay? I'm a goddamn up there, goddamn go in her room, take my clothes off, my NBA warm ups and shit. Yeah. I'm finally gonna do it. I'm gonna get put up. Ain't no way. Nothing can go wrong. As soon as she touched my arm, I busted it up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was even on hard, bro. Yeah, you have oh my song. god, bro. I'm going monkey, nigga. Shit. Oh my god. So I want to do this song, but I don't know how to buy this. You might be a little sensitive, but fuck it. We're going to have fun. Y'all been drinking? Take a little shot, so we're going to drink. Um, I'm doing a controversial song by a controversial singer. If you like it, ride with me. Give me a clap. If not, I don't give a shit. Fuck it. <laughs> videos like that I really appreciate it because it really shows that you have confidence to do that to actually speak in front of a large crowd to actually perform to do anything in front of a large crowd that is commendable because you know a lot of people might be fearful of doing things like that but um kudos to you man it's only up from you it's only up from you so continue doing what you're doing the, the greats, even Kevin Hart, had to start at one point. They had to start somewhere small to one day continuing doing what they're doing to where they is now. So there's plenty of growth. I see plenty of potential. I love the watermelon joke. That was my favorite. I love the watermelon joke. So um, continue doing what you're doing, Cam. But until next time, this is your boy, Steph Fiox, and I am only here. Peace.